What's happening everybody? Trey here joined by my dad Sean and today Reactions to the Classics going to be bringing you a reaction to Pat Metheny uh, featured in a song battle today with uh, the track Bright Size of uh, Bright Size Life uh, versus his cover of the Beatles and I Love Her. I want to shout out our uh, longtime friend and patron of the channel Sean for suggesting this one. We uh, did another Pat Metheny um, uh, song battle probably it was over a year ago at this yeah, point time flies, that uh, Sean brought us that I enjoyed man and and uh, I'm uh, definitely curious to check these out, especially the uh, And I Love Her cover, seeing how he uh, pulls that off. But uh, I guess, that for those that don't know anything about old Pat, a uh, little primer for them. Yeah, he's an American jazz guitarist and composer, leader of the Pat Metheny Group, also involved in duets, solo works, and other side projects. His style incorporates elements of progressive and contemporary jazz, Latin jazz, and mm -hmm. jazz fusion. He has three gold albums, 20 Grammys, and is the Ooh. only person to win Grammys in 10 years. Different Wild. categories. So let's start off with Bright Size Life from 1976. Sean says, not this Sean, our patron <laughs> Sean. This was Pat Metheny's debut solo album after working with Gary Burton. It was mm. also the first album featuring Yako Pistorius. Wow. Pat was only 21 when he made this album. Damn. So you got Pat on, on guitar, Yako on bass, and Bob Moses on drums. Those are your, oh, your people on nice, this one. man. Well, uh, as always, man, just going to sit back, enjoy it. And, you know, normally we have the lyrics up. This is just an in instrumental, so... Yeah, I've already memorized that. Yeah. Lyrics, so. <laughs> and then uh, afterwards, we'll give our thoughts and then get into And I Love Her. The title track from uh, the album of the same name, Bright Size Live, opener of this record as well, man. Um, I mean, just a, a lovely composition of music right here. Yeah, it really is. You know, and it's a little different on what we've been listening to on the jazz room. You know, oh, yeah. Just more, you know, horn stuff and mm -hmm. more grand stuff. And this is just a good vibe. And I mean, this dude's 21 when he's Dude, laying us I... down. But <laughs> these jazz guys, they're savants from a very young age, man, to get to this level of oh, skill. Yeah. You got to have it from a very young age, but you know, I'll let you talk a little bit about the bass work that you uh, enjoy. Oh no, man! Well, I, I like the the way the song was structured in the sense to um, I thought the production, uh, at least on what we were listening to, was really good. You had Pat on the right headphone, yep. you had uh, Yako on the uh, left, and then uh, you know Bob. Uh, you know, he just had a good drum foundation. Got to have the drummer the in the jazz, man. He's, just, <laughs> he's the unsung hero back there. Uh, keep that beat and, uh, and rhythm going, man. Um, but yeah, you know, Pat was really able to to shine in the first. Uh, you know, two and a half minutes or whatever, really just kind of playing around a bunch of different chords and whatnot. Yes. It, it felt, and then uh, he kind of took the, the step back, let the spotlight go on Yako there for um, a, a good portion of that latter, you know, half of the song, and uh, just really getting to um, appreciate the uh, stellar bass work. Um, you know, obviously Yako uh, appeared on uh, Ajira around this time right. for Joni Mitchell as well, and is uh, fantastic on that record. And um, you know, it seems any times he pops up in these battles, I. Uh, I I enjoy what he does and uh, this song was no different man it uh like you said just said a good vibe kind of yeah. uh, went well with uh what this cover was with the the sun kind of either rising or setting in the back i don't know what we got but uh all that's to say man really enjoyable tune and now we're going to uh skip ahead many decades here and go to his and i love her uh beatles cover here from the what's it all about record in 2011. it's pat's first album which does not include his own material mm. it's all covers wow. guys Won a Grammy for Best New Age Album. Interesting. Sean let us know that uh, Pat's playing the nylon string guitar, which the Ooh, nylon cool. is going to give it a little softer sound. Yeah. And there is such intricate guitar work on this song, mm. because obviously we know the Beatles yeah. version very well. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Well, I'm, I'm curious, too. This clocking over four minutes, obviously the Beatles' original version, not near that That's long. That's probably so. two and a half, just yeah. off the top of my head. <laughs> string guitars and music man. Not, I came across them a couple weeks ago in a review <laughs> somebody was using them I don't remember it. such a pretty sound anytime you want you can pop in here and just start singing <laughs> Thank you. 
Paul singing it now. I can too, <laughs> dude. I can hear it. Yeah. I'm just progressing with it. her what uh what you think of this one dad i thought it was really interesting to hear something like this of a song that i know so well oh yeah and then hear it presented <laughs> in this way you mentioned it during the reaction the nylon string guitar when you more just such intricate playing it mm-hmm. was so so well done by pat oh yeah man i uh I, I was just very impressed with it i was singing the i, I could hear paul mccartney yeah, i could too as uh as you know pat was progressing through uh you know through the melody and whatnot and uh yeah like you said i think intricate is a great word for this yeah, man, man. just a way it down um, all by yourself man oh, nobody else on here yeah and i i think that um yeah, I, I think too that just uh, the, he had the uh, I guess in the guitar solo part where you know normally in the Beatles song it's a little shorter he, he was right. able to stretch it out I guess that's where obviously we got the uh, lengthier uh, song yep. um, but uh, yeah man I just thought he absolutely crushed it and yeah that nylon string just sounds so sweet it's and nice. pretty on the ears man um, I mean I, I don't have too much more to add than that it was it was a fantastic cover man and I, I like whenever you hear these Beatles songs in such a different uh, right manner so to speak. it's well known on this channel i'm not a fan of beatles covers it's a different <laughs> animal here because there's nobody singing it was it was just beautiful so trey that's going to bring us to our winner it's an, it's an interesting battle right because a lot of good cool stuff going on with bright mm-hmm. size live and then and i love it was just kind of a master class in playing that guitar so they're they're really two different sides mm-hmm. of the spectrum so very well put together battle by Sean. What do you think? Man, I'm going to actually go with Bright Size Live. Even though I did love and I love her, uh, no pun intended right there. I just thought that uh, having Yako on the bass work yeah. on Bright Size Life um, just gave it a little boost to me. But yeah, man, that's just personal preference. Uh, you can't really go wrong with either of them. But yeah, Bright Size Life getting my vote here. I'm there with what you say. You can't go wrong with either one of them. I'm going to go with you as well, Bright Size Life. Okay. Even though Anna Weber was a just perfectly done, but a, a great <laughs> battle brought to us by 
Sean, we always appreciate you. And remember, I'm talking about the Patreon. I haven't lost my mind. I'm not talking in third person here. If you'd like to support us in any way, check out the Patreon link. Boy, the Patreon link on the end screen. We'll also throw up another video there that you might enjoy. And until next time, y'all, thanks so much for watching. Happy listening, and we will see you.